This 2024 New York roster composition is built different, exemplified by them maintaining momentum without their entire starting front court of Randall, Ananobi, and Robinson. Utterly shorthanded, the Knicks just swept the doubleheader by a combined 36, with former Warrior and Buck Dante DiVincenzo dropping 66 points over the back-to-back -to, -back to fuel New York to an eight-game winning streak. Moving into third place in the Eastern Conference, the Knicks mercilessly won 14 of 16 games in January, and even minus top weapons, you won't want to miss how their stacked depth is still making teams quit. Right quick, just 10.4% of you watching right now are subscribed, so if you haven't already, please subscribe, turn on notifications, flash thumbs up, follow your boy on Instagram and X at Hoops. back to the vid. The Villanova backcourt of Jalen 1A Brunson and Dante White Chocolate DiVincenzo are two of just six players across the NBA who've made 100 plus threes on at least 42% three-point shooting, and New York snipers stepped up to combine for a hefty 62 points and 13 dimes against Utah. With a banged up lineup, specifically it was Dante elevating his game as DiVincenzo's nine threes, one of which he got open for out of this beautiful Spain pick and roll action where he's gonna ghost the back screen on Walker Kessler, were a career high. Just exceeding the seven he knocked down in Toronto earlier this year, a game where he had more triples than the entire Raptor team combined. Dante also had seven threes in both Indiana and Charlotte this season, making him fourth in the league only behind Curry, Trey, and Terry for the most games with at least that amount of deep range bombs. Therefore, the caliber of beyond the arc sniper DiVincenzo's developed into since being drafted 17th overall in 2018 by the Bucks is first class. It was a historically rare night for Dante, both offensively and defensively. The Big Ragu's career night from distance also featured him becoming just the 10th player in league history to drain nine plus triples and simultaneously snatch four plus steals in a single game. For the season as a whole, Devo being elite defensively with top-notch tenacity and anticipation at his position in Liberty City is proven by the fact that he's top five among all point guards in total deflections. For the $12.5 million cap hit the Knicks front office led by Leon Rose was able to lock him down for, at this value, Dante's been a bona fide robbery of a free agent signing. Meanwhile, via the trade market, the acquired in the Ananobi deal Precious Achua's third organization after being traded by both Miami in 2021 and Toronto in late 2023 is seeing him morph into a different caliber of weapon. Gone are the days of living on a prayer by Precious chucking up threes like he did in the six, and Precious is simply playing his ass off by scrapping like an old school center would to make hustle plays around the basket on both ends while being in tune with his defensive rotations and general positioning. It's pretty damn wild that Chua was considered a throw-in to the Ananobi trade, how New York got both Precious and OG without having to give up a single first-round pick in return was excellent, savvy front office work. Replacing Randall exceptionally in the starting five, Achua's two blocks were tied with Josh Hart for a team most, with his 18 points being a Nick third most, and his plus 14 plus minus being tied for a game third highest, tied with Jericho Sims and only trailing DiVincenzo, who led the game as a plus 23, and Brunson, who was a plus 19. As I tweeted out yesterday, it's scary that the front court that started in this blowout win over Utah and Isaiah Hartenstein, who dropped a 14 and 12 double double, along with Precious will be the 4-5 combo that's going to come off your bench once Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson return. A night before on the road in Charlotte, New York would make franchise history as yet another W without Randle, Ananobi, and Robinson saw the Knicks record their 30th win in the year in January, the first time they've done that since all the way back in 1997, a 96-97 campaign in which they advanced to the second round, but coincidentally, just like they did last year in 2023, also lost to Miami. Miami in it. On a more optimistic note, the Knicks could have easily gone an undefeated 16-0 in January, given one of the two losses was without Jalen Brunson, and the other was within four points. Going back to the New York W in Charlotte, and the opening night of a back-to-back -back saw the team's most efficient sniper from distance on the year being Miles Deuce McBride, showcase he's no one-trick pony, screen navigating exceptionally multiple times like his life depends on it around these attempted Nick Richards picks, diagonally shuffling back to cut off Cody Martin's driving angle, knocking Cody over on his attempted isolation, recording Deuce the steal, triggering the fast break, where he on the other end does what he does best, drains a deep-range bomb. 
We talked about one of Brunson's teammates back when he was at Villanova before in Dante. How about another in Josh Hart, whose two-block, two-steal, triple-double provided an electrifyingly much-needed boost. Hart's one of the most well-rounded players you'll come across, and ever since being shipped from the Big Easy to the city that never sleeps at last year's deadline, he's exemplified just that. The man is willing to do the little things, capable of creating offense off the dribble, a communicative teammate, and he's interchangeable in terms of being able to seamlessly fill out multiple positions. On top of all the injuries for New York right now, the Knicks nearly had another major rotational loss in Quentin Grimes, but after suffering this knee injury, QG would ultimately return to fight through it. In terms of the setbacks they're dealing with, to give them a backbone of insurance, as you know by now, New York signed the recently waived by the Bulls 38-year-old 15-year NBA veteran Taj Gibson to a 10-day contract. And when the blowout win was set against the Jazz, Knicks fans would start a We Want Taj chant. We want Taj! And it was nice to see Tibbs oblige by subbing Gibson in on the same day he was picked up, as the Garden would greet him with a standing O upon checking in. For this team's 1A number one option, Jalen Brunson, he can take a momentary bow and hopefully expect Player of the Month honors for on a team that went 14-2, leading them in buckets and dimes by averaging a beastly 29 points and 8 assists per game. We talked about Candace and Becky trying to get in his head in my last video, but against the Jazz, after they took an early 15-6 lead, Colin Sexton would trash talk Brunson straight to his face. However, after the clip you're watching right now, JB and the Knicks would outscore Utah by 24 points over the next 43 minutes. Don't play with the Brunson burner. With some of the softest touch in the lane across the league, a pristine will to win, and consistently polished fundamentals, Brunson's finesse combined with first step, mechanics, and instinctiveness make him one of the best scorers at the point guard position, not just in the game today, but quite frankly that I've ever witnessed, which is why I've been on record thrice now as saying he's capable of winning a title as the 1A. Don't forget about the Knicks having a staple in the rotation who led the team in blocks and rebounds per game in January and has been stepping up flawlessly for Mitchell Robinson in Isaiah Hartenstein. Not only is iHeart a foundational rebounder and shot blocker, but painting the picture for how much room Isaiah frees up for the likes of Brunson, the man's extremely undervalued 164 screen assists are 11th most among all players and among all typical backups, ranks number one. Speaking of ranking number one, based off the Knicks ranking numero uno since the new year hit in all of defensive rating, points allowed per game, point differential, opponent field goal percentage, and rebounds per game, you can't statistically deny them of being a damn intimidating potential playoff opponent. But I want to know the most scary part about the Knicks in your opinion though. Best answer gets next bit shout out with the top 5 commenters by June 21st, earning free merch of their choosing. Shout out to Chris KM, who says, It's time for OG to step up in Randall's absence for sure. Time to see if he can step up as the second option. He's been looking for this opportunity. He has gotten injured since that take, but appreciate the answer and every other. D-Flow signing off.